Hello. Welcome back. And he's off for four days. Yay. Um, but alas, it's pissing down with rain. So, if you can hear that, you probably can. There's nothing I can do. The ramble room's right at the top of the house. It was a loft conversion, so it's not really I can do about that. So, sorry, guys. Uh, the other day, I watched a documentary. Before I get into the album, I just want to mention this. Uh, it's called How the Beatles Changed the World. Have any of you guys seen it? It was out 2017, I think, but I've only just caught it. It was really, really interesting. Kind of similar, and yet kind of different. They sort of like delved a little bit more into the, the drugs and their political views, you know, the Vietnam War. Comes highly recommended. Another Beatles documentary, I know. Um, but well, well, well worth a watch. Anyway. Oh, he's at that again. Oh, I say that. Today, I finally get a chance to play Anthology, Volume 3. Anthology, obviously, is the third in the series, uh, released October 28th, uh, 1996. But it was recorded between the 22nd of February, 1967, and January, 1970. All of the three obviously tie into that TV special, um, The Beatles Anthology. And the cover design was painted by Klaus Vormann. You know, Klaus, Beatles friend, and um, he designed the cover to Revolver. So should we have a little look inside? I mean, it is a shame I've got to do this one first. I mean, I should have been doing Let It Be and um, I think it's Let It Be, then this, then the Blue Album, and then Past Masters, but they've completely done everything else about Face, and Let It Be, and Past Masters are out of stock at the moment. And yeah, someone commented on one of my last videos, no wonder, you know, with the amount of replacements they've had to send out, no wonder they're limited on stock. It hasn't, I don't think it's been a brilliant one for them, but bottom line... No one to blame but themselves, you know. Oh, God, this one don't want to come out, like this. There we go, we got her. Just like the other, the other ones. Looks bloody lovely. there's not too much glare from the lights you can see that and obviously because it's a triple album boom you guys saw it before me oh look at that they're just difficult to handle aren't they wow oh wicked some beautiful photographs in that middle section for sure oh I just remember GSE's the third album's a real pain in the backside to get out. That is lovely, isn't it? This album is bursting with demos, outtakes and rarities from the final three years of the Beatles. Um, a staggering 50 songs. It's going to be quite hard to absorb all this lot, but I suppose I'll have to have a go. <sighs> At 145 minutes and 33 seconds, I better get on with it, hadn't I? Let's do this. Let's get the vinyl out and have a look, shall we? Obviously on the Apple logo. Little bit of a slit there, which is a little bit of a bummer. Because they are anti-static, but I don't think it's gone right through. I think the plastic's still around the record, so I think it's okay. But brand new, just opened. Anyway, let's have a little look at the record. Anthology 3. Oh. Oh, wow. 
that slid off there like a dream and that is immaculate have a look at that guys oh how nice look let's get it on there shall we I must admit, now I've got the vinyl out, I'm really, really excited to play this. So, I guess I've got a little bit of listening to do. I'll be back in a little while. This was lovely. Long, but lovely. There's some real gems on here. Um, like I explained earlier, there's 50 tracks, so I'm only going to talk briefly about a few of them that uh, I thought are worth a mention, even though we love them all, of course we do. Right, obviously, it starts off with a beginning. Um, more George Martin than the Beatles, it is George Martin's music. Um, and you can hear it in the Yellow Submarine, the movie, just before Eleanor Rigby. It's a nice beautiful little piece of music but like I said it's not really a Beatles song and then uh, what other one did Junk uh, one of the songs written by the Beatles in Rishikesh India when they studied under the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi uh, that transcendental meditation or whatever they were doing the song was never recorded in the studio for the White Album but did eventually surface in 1970 on McCartney's self-titled debut solo album Nice little track. Right, now this one's a strange little number. What's the new Mary Jane? Is Mary Jane marijuana? Don't know. Um, written by John Lennon in 1968. One of the strangest Beatles songs. It was considered on the inclusion of the White Album. They remained unreleased until, obviously, Anthology 3. The lyrical playfulness of the song suggests it was written in India or shortly afterwards. Based on the phrase, what a shame Mary Jane had a pain at the party. It was that, along with Revolution Number 9, I think were Lennon's first dabbles with the avant-garde. Interesting, though. Step inside, love, and lost paranoia. Quite a fun song, this one. The Beatles take this little ad-lib song during a recording session for the White Album, followed by an impromptu version of McCartney's Step Inside Love, which he'd written for Scylla Black in 1967. Although Lost Paranoise is credited to all four members of the Beatles, George Harrison did not attend the session. Uh, not Guilty. This is a gem. Uh, one of the finest Lost recordings. Not Guilty was recorded during the White Album sessions, but remained unreleased until Anthology 3. Eventually recorded by Harrison for his self-titled 1979 album in a mellower version. But this sounds good. Really, really good. I like This is one of my faves on the album. Then you've got Rip It Up, Shake, Rattle and Roll, Blue Suede Shoes. These rock and roll oldies were recorded during the Beatles Get Back sessions in January 1969 at Apple Studios. Uh, this had Billy Preston playing on the Hammond organ. How does Billy Preston feel about playing with the four Beatles? You can only just imagine. Um, what else is there? Oh, side five. All Things Must Pass. Although it's best known for his uh, title track of his solo album, George Harrison taped a demo of All Things Must Pass in early 1969. The recording took place on the 25th of February, Harrison's 26th birthday. During the session, he also taped demos for Old Brown Shoes and Something which obviously are on this album too. Um, Mailman, Bring Me No More Blue, originally released by Buddy Holly in 1959. It had been part of the Beatles' live repertoire uh, until 1962. However, they didn't record it until January 1969 during the Get Back Sessions at Apple Studios. Um, it had been the B-side to Holly's US single, Words of Love. As you know, that was covered by the Beatles on their 1964 album. That's right, Beatles for Sale. 
Um, then there's Come and Get It. Brilliant. <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoyed these. This solo Paul McCartney demo was recorded during the Abbey Road sessions. While briefly considered for Abbey Road, it was given to the Apple group Badfinger. McCartney also produced Badfinger's version at EMI Studios on 2nd of August 1969. Great song, though. See, I think this album, even though it hasn't got my favourite era of Beatles on it, I think it sounded best, like, sound-wise, fidelity-wise. But I kind of put that down to... It was later, you know, things were getting modern, recording techniques probably was better. So, I think this one sounded really nice. Um, it's a fine piece to the collection, it really, really is. Um, it's long, it is long, so how often I will play this, I don't know. But from time to time, it's worth a dig out, I think. A lot of songs on this one. But, um, yeah, really, really pleased with it. Really, really pleased with it. So that, little beauty. You know, didn't you? We'll sit proudly. What about... thing of beauty a thing of beauty so yeah i really really enjoyed anthology volume three it was long like i said but there's some gems up and i'm going to stick a few of them on my uh phone as a, on a playlist like i said that not guilty and a few step inside they were, they were brilliant it was the beatles although you can kind of feel they're all sort of going their own separate way during this album such a shame but you know all good things come to an end, I guess. Um, before I sign off, a couple of things I want to just have a little chat with you about. First off, have you heard the Beatles' unofficial hate album? Obviously, you know the love album, the hate album. Anyone heard any of the stuff on there? Because I got it um, during the week. It's got some kind of bizarre but kind of cool sounds on it. Let me know what you think downstairs, guys. Um... Also, a while ago, someone asked me if I'd do a live stream. And I said, yeah, I'm going to sort something out. And then I kind of just dropped the idea. But what I thought, of, once I finally get the last two, the Blue Album and Let It Be from Diego Stini, and it's closed, I want to do a final finale video. But then I thought it'd be really interesting to set up a live stream and we can talk about the vinyl collection. I can't really at the minute because I haven't got them all. But I'm close. Two more left. Um, also, I'm toying with the idea of responding. Because I get the questions now are getting a little bit longer. So I'm thinking about doing once a month, maybe twice a month, an Ask Stripey you know, session. Whether it's how many records you got, you know, whatever, you know. Um, and I can video respond to questions. Um, that's something I've been thinking about during work. Let me know your thoughts downstairs on that too. And finally, have yourselves a happy Easter. The weather's a little bit poor out here, but make sure you have a good time with your family and friends. Maybe play some Beatle music. Ain't a bad idea. I just might. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for today, guys, then, really. Um, I may get to play Past Masters over the next couple of days. But I've still got two Tom Waits and a Pink Floyd album and a Northern Soul album. Three Tom Waits albums. Um, and I'll bootleg when I forgot to unwrap at Christmas. I discovered when I was moving them about earlier. So yeah, that's it for today, guys, really. Um, like I said, have yourselves a great Easter. I'll be back with another ramble. Real soon. Take care, guys.
enough of what I say is me.